play with a smile on your face. What brings that? Do you feel privileged to be a footballer? Yes, of course, but not only in football. In my life, you need to be uh, happy and always smiling in your face, no? This is FBB, we consider ourselves to be a family. The last year has seen a period of rapid growth for Football Beyond Borders. We've gone from working in one school to now working in six. And this evening, we're here firstly to celebrate the work of Football Beyond Borders. We're here to uh, welcome on board a new patron. Um, but we're also here because we want to expand into more schools. I joined uh, Football Beyond Borders when I was, uh, uh, just after coming back from Brazil, I realised that they were doing an amazing job in the favelas and, and some of the young people there, but I always thought in the, thought in the back of my mind that uh, you don't need to go to Brazil to help people. People can be helped here, and, and I realised that that's actually what their next plan was and what they are doing. I started talking to Santi about a hundred things as we always do, and one of them was this. So all of a sudden, I got him hooked. For me, the most important is uh, for help the kids. Uh, for me, it's a pleasure, a pleasure to be part of this uh, event, and I always uh, want to help the, the kids because the football in my career is very important and helps me a lot uh, for to be a better person. Notice you didn't say better footballer, but better person. For you? For you? Winning. For me too. Uh, so tonight we'll put them a thousand pounds in their bank accounts and we're going to keep on putting money in their bank accounts. Do we have a raise on that or is he going to be taking away the special lunch with Kieran Balagay? 450 going once. Going twice, 500, he's come in, he wants that late bid, we love a late bid, we love that. We said at the beginning of the evening we were going to try and raise £15,000. What that would enable us to do is to expand to three more schools. That was a very ambitious target. Currently, as it stands, we have raised £16,300, £50. I think Football Beyond Borders is really inspiring for young people. It is promoting role models, which is really important and missing at the moment. And I think it's really important that football gives something back. There are too many people who make too much money out of football. There are too many kids who have got nothing. And Football Beyond Borders bridges that gap really nicely. I don't think the current social economic climate is the best, so I feel organisations like this, charities like this are important. Everybody reacted in a wonderful way, everybody realised what this was about. I think everybody is um, very aware that uh, these kind of um, initiatives are needed and, uh, and as I keep saying this, people that run this uh, will be on borders, basically they just could do anything they wanted in the world. They just come out of a university, could be uh, leaders of industry or whatever, but they decided to put their energy and time and early years into this. So that already is wonderful. The kids, it was wonderful to, to share some time with Santi and, uh, and then, you know, the, the 16,000 pounds that we raised. Ah, it was amazing, it was amazing. I just want to thank Santi Cazorla for becoming the patron of Football Beyond Borders, for being here. Thank you very much, everybody.